Hey guys, this is Nikhil from Bulletproof Teams and uh, today I want to talk to you about this conversation I've been having with a couple of my private one-on-one -on -one coaching clients and I've been helping them accelerate their business growth. Now, both of them are basically at a burnout level right now because things in their business and in their life are just not going the way they had thought they would and uh, they are consistent, consistently trying to grow their business but it's just not happening for them. So watch this video till the end because I'm going to be sharing with you three solid tips which can help you put your business and life on track and actually create the business and life of your dreams. Something that gives you money, joy and freedom. So now here's the thing right, we have to understand building a business is hard. There is no quick and easy success, there is no magic pill for it, there is no secret uh, that somebody is holding on to. All right, building a business is hard. Now, if you're, if you're, let's say you're starting out alone, you just had this great idea and you want to implement it. Well, guess what? That means that the entire business, every little responsibility is on you. I mean, from getting yourself a cup of coffee all the way to give, putting your best of your services or products out there, it's all done by you. Now, you may get help from outside sources, but uh, it all comes down to you actually doing the work or getting the work done. Okay. Now let's go to the next level. Let's say you're a sizable enterprise. You have maybe 10 or 20 people working for you. Uh, so now you have some shared responsibility. But again, please understand, you're still running the business from on a day-to-day -day basis because the chances are that the 10 to 20 people you have are mid to junior level people at best. So you still don't have managers or people who are uh, independent decision makers in your organization. Now, let's go to the next level. Maybe you have 50 to 100 people. Good, you're a sizable business now. Chances are that you have maybe one or two managers alongside you and who can make decisions but only relevant and only restricted to what they can, uh, uh, to, to the decisions or to the department actually they're running for you. They still cannot uh, join you in larger business decision making, uh, in the larger decision making process, okay? Now let's keep going. So let's say you have over a hundred employees. Maybe you have 200 or 300 or 400 people, right? Now you are a proper enterprise. You're a proper enterprise. Chances are that you still have those couple of managers, but now you have maybe someone as a right-hand person or a left-hand person who can help you in decision-making, who can actually get the work done for you the way you want it or even better. And you are free. You have some time, not all the time that you want to be able to think about growth and strategy for your business. Now, why am I mentioning all this? The point that I'm trying to make is that growing a business is hard. Now, my clients, they are facing, they have, they've literally hit a wall. They don't see what you know tomorrow is going to look like. They are not able to see beyond what they are facing right now. And I want to tell you why. The number one thing is, it's about how you structure yourself, how you choose to spend your time in your business and in your life. Look, there's nothing that's going to stop. Every as, as long as you wake up, life is going to move on, business is going to move on, there's going to be a crisis, there's going to be issues, there's going to be a lot of things that will work, there are going to be a lot of things that don't work. Now, more often than not, it seems like there are more things that do not work and that's what bogs us down. So, what you need to do actually is these three things. Number one is stay on top of your time stay on top of your time there will be hundreds and thousands of things that want to distract you but as long as you stay on top of your time that means plan your day your week your month then things can get under control okay number two now when you're staying on top of time that means you're planning your days ahead of you uh, the second thing that you need to do is look at the bigger things to uh, work on that will help you solve the bigger problems that are bothering you a lot right so that means that uh, if there is a system issue look at solving that system issue if there is a marketing issue look at working on that marketing issue it's very important to stay focused on the larger chunks that are not working in your business and get them going fix those rather than getting getting fragmented and spreading yourself too thin and trying to address everything at the same time it's just not going to work especially if you're alone or especially if you just have a team a small team of let's say managers with you and uh, uh, who basically are still going to look to you for direction super important and number three is now you when you're staying on top of your time the second thing is that you are planning you are picking and choosing the problems you want to solve and work on the third thing is 
take some time for yourself. It's super important for you to recharge your batteries to conserve your energy. Entrepreneurship is an energy game. So the more you work on protecting your energy, the best of you will go out there in your business and that means the best version of you will go out to your customers it will go into your product it will go to your team it will go to your friends your family your entire life so protect your energy protect your time and uh, watch the magic happen in your business so hope this uh, hope you found this useful i would love to know uh, how do you manage your time you know hit a sense put it in the comments below share how you use your time how do you manage your time uh, what's been most helpful for you in today's video and i'll see you in my next one this is nickel from bulletproof teams have a good one out there bye bye